about the sheriff's Five, office. Do y'all do want me here or no for this? That's that's what I think is ideal. Every leadership structure that I've ever been a part of or... I've known her for a long time and she's always adapted to her situation. It'll be fine. Hold on, I was gonna finish saying something. I was going somewhere with that. Okay. No, wrong one. Let go of me, you freak. Oh, I, I, I need you, I need you, right now. Please, just let me finish what I was saying. Okay, keep talking, hurry. Right. Forward, forward. What? We gotta talk Don't to the mayor. Me. We gotta talk to the mayor right now. But also, don't get finished. Put finish. him down. Okay, fine. I'll put him down. Okay. What do you What do you want me to do, Corwin? Forward to it. Forward. What do you want? Oh. oh uh. We need to. Can I talk to you real fast? Yes. Actually, right now with Beric. Oh, hey! Look at that. Beric's here. Yeah. I'm. I. I, I, I dragged his ass out of bed. Yes, you are. Good job. Yeah. We have. A, we have a 6 a.m. academy he wants me to teach. So he he flipped his schedule around. That's why he ain't been around till now. Holy shit. I, I swear, if somebody were to snap Duncan right now, I would not complain. What up? Hey, firm, well, Howdy. Bell, you hey, uh, uh, how you doing, Barrett? Uh, well, you know, a lot of things <laughs> going on, but <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm um, not doom and gloom as much as people would like to. About the sheriff's oh, office. Y'all, y'all want me here now for this? You can, you can be here because I'm gonna tell you what my vision is for it. Um, okay. okay. Uh, but I am mainly interested in Barrett's uh, opinion because I know I know you've been a cop for a long time, Cletus. You know, it was like 20 plus years, some shit. Oh. I'm interested in hearing uh, what would be best for Barrett right now because I do want I do want a sheriff's office to open. It, it needs to be open in such a way that it does not interfere with the chain of command. So the the big thing is finding out where the sheriff fits in the chain of command. Right. Yeah. Uh, my vision was that they would be equal to the assistant chief so that there would always be a de facto person at the top of the, the chain of command that could be like, OK, this was this is what needs to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, it would be a barrack or whoever else, um, you know, in the future, you know, how, how that would manifest. Because I know in the past there was a bit of um, well, Jenny's walking up right now. She probably would know. Yeah, I mean, hey. it, would, it would essentially make the chief like a pseudo, pseudo yeah. commissioner. Hey. Right, exactly. We're talking about uh, Max's vision for the sheriff's office, and we're trying to find out what, what Beric thinks about it. How do we pre preserve the chain of command? That's the big thing. In my vision, Jenny, because I, I want to... Mm -hmm. you're, good, you're a good person to be here for this, actually, because uh, my suggestion right now, because the LSPD is still regrowing, and uh, yep. there's a lot of shit that needs to happen, and adding another layer to the chain of command that could possibly complicate things would be detrimental. So my idea was to, for now, make the sheriff equivalent in rank to the assistant chief, so that there would always be the chief of police who could say, hey... Uh, you know, no interdepartmental bullshit. Like this is what needs to happen. Blah blah blah. What do you mm. think of that? Mm. The issue that may come up, which is tribalism naturally, because you're, you're splitting departments, and the issue that may manifest in that case is that you will end up in a kind of, well, why is it my department with the sheriff doesn't get to speak on the sheriff? Why does LSPD get to dictate what we do? Right. You've got to find a way that somehow that counters that in which now. you, which they don't what feel that they are. Because naturally, the moment you break them up, you you create a sense of tribalism that you're just never right. going to beat that. So you need to find a way in which you can go, hey, oh, like, this is kind of how before that is kind of what the and this is horrible i'm not saying go back to five years but this is kind of how they tried right. to combat this before was to put a commissioner who was in no department and be like i'm the final say and that way there yeah. was no sort of bias on either side yes they had their own leadership but then there was someone above who didn't wear any uniform wasn't part of it but they got final say on the pd and that was how they combated it this is important chat with, this is very this is a uh, very important conversation now, but that's how they saw to fix it because again you immediately run into the issue of people going why is the why is the chief of police of lspd dictating what i am doing in the sheriff department would you be interested mm -hmm. in being commissioner jenny hall yeah really i mean yeah okay oh my god uh obviously that's no nothing set in stone yet but it seems like i need to start looking for a commissioner uh if you guys have suggestions let me know <sighs> see it's hard right now uh, fuck it i could we could do it before uh the 20th on the off chance i don't get reelected. i have heard your interest miss hall um, I will start talking to cops and see uh, if they're interested in the role. Yeah, I think it's the most logical Robin, solution. About naked. Okay, cool. That's what we're working on right now. Wait, Where would that place say? the sheriff in the chain of command then if there oh. was a commissioner in place? There's no reason do, for it not to be the just equal to the chief. Equal to the chief. Yeah. Make the yeah. Okay. For a bit All right. To Sounds good. Make okay. So, well, back to the original question. Let's say there's no commissioner. Then what? Um. Then I think you go with. What you what Max is proposing until the day arises where there is a commissioner, and then it would move everything up. So would you have an additional rank within the sheriff's office? No, you just or sorry, have an one less. So you wouldn't have an under sheriff, and no. you'd have captains. A captain. Yeah, we're doing one captain. We're not doing this whole yeah. You know, 
Captain for shift thing. Oh yeah, I mean that. That's I mean I just said captains with an S, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a lot a lot to think about. Um, I think uh, time is short, but that doesn't mean that I won't have enough time to do it. Barrick, if you have suggestions for the role, obviously I, I value your opinion most. If you could let Ruby know as well, um, then I can contact them directly and ask them if they're interested. We need need someone who is firm, uh, hard, and veiny. Mm hmm. Um, You're not narrowing it down too well. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, should be good. Should be good. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good debate. Uh, good to see all of you. Uh, I'm going to go get people to I vote. I got to go say now. hi to someone. Yeah, good shit. All right. Good luck, y'all. Love you. Hey, so is, are we doing like a two votes for mayor? Because I haven't voted yet. Do you get two votes? So you vote for your deputy and you vote for your mayor? Nope. No. You get a single one. one. Yeah, Ooh. we wanted to. Either Here's the scary part. I vote for you, right? Mm -hmm. And if I vote for you and there's a bunch of people that believe in you and Max, and then all of a sudden you have a situation where a bunch of people say, okay, well, I'm going to vote for the deputy because he's the one in limbo. But then what ends up happening, it's a full on swing and you have Stanley Miller end up getting involved whenever he is involved with a whole bunch of other folks i don't uh, know how does that some bitch and i have a felony that's the thing though like i feel like if if by the off chance that he does get elected as deputy mayor he's not gonna be that in position for long yeah i'm they, tired of just ignoring folks in fact you know what i'm gonna do what's up never mind don't worry about it that whole i was gonna turn into it was gonna be off topic don't don't worry about it let's take it a kind of taking it a step back right outside of the liaison position and and you know the relationship between the mayor's office and the pd miss hall you know I, I have all the damn respect in the world for you mm -hmm. okay i mean I've, I've, we've talked plenty of times and i always feel like i can i can bounce questions off of you and kind of see your opinion on things and and i think that mm -hmm. you uh i mean you, you, have, you have your head on in the right place right regardless of whether or not you've been yeah i've been a police officer and i think you said six years yeah five years yeah but yeah i, I would love to to take a chance to talk to you some more about like of course, the, yeah. the build out and the development of things but here's something else just, i'm just picking picking y'all's brains from people's opinions that i've heard i have my own opinion on this already but what do y'all feel or how do y'all feel about two separate chains of command between a sheriff's office and, and a LSPD. I have my own opinion on this, but I want to hear what y'all have to say. Uh, I'll go first if no one wants to. Um, in my opinion, uh, you need the numbers to back it up. Making a separate department, you you do not need two separate chain of commands if you do not have numbers to back you up, because at that point, the moment you introduce a second chain of command, you are splitting opinion and you are splitting uh -huh. how the departments can run. So uh -huh. you have to be aware of that. Yes, while a, a sheriff office focus on a different thing to the PD, Fundamentally, you all have the same thing. What you guys have to avoid is falling back into the same mindset that was here five years ago, which is, uh, as I said, tribalism and less of a focus on policing yes. because because you're all too busy bickering amongst yourself about which department is the better one. Yeah, which is and that's what you want to avoid. And that that also comes with if you are going to have two separate chain of commands, while difference is good, you fundamentally want them to have the same goal and mindset, or you are never going to get anywhere because you are just going to end up in meetings where you go round and round in circles for hours and hours, and in the end you go well i'm gonna do this anyway and the other group goes well i'm gonna do this anyway and then it goes out to the office and the office is like hang on a minute why I, did they I just, do that i just and said we don't. i agree with and then that causes more with headache her. and then it just causes more um disgruntled and then you have people who are then and then you have the whole issue of people snaking each other to try and get a better one up in the other department i'm, and I'm like kind of trying to temperature check and avoid that by being because I, I think i, I think i know what she's so say, much but unified in the way that if you are gonna have two separate chain of commands they have the same goal and the same mindset okay i just don't think it's a good idea or i'm pretty much a lot of the reasons that she just said yeah you know we've you know, obviously she even more so than me testament to seeing it so many times before and just creates so much drama and so much just inter pd f just feuding similar to how it was like months ago where people are at each other's throats more than they're at the throats of the people outside the building and as much as we want to talk about this that, and the other it does not change the fact of numbers and the amount of people that we have dude there's, there's a lot here that i'm trying to digest okay pretty much er everything you said right there is exactly how i feel exactly what my concerns would be with the two chains because there's some folks that say we should have two chains and i'm like look you, you hit on a point that i haven't heard anybody else talk about i always talk about like an ideal leadership tr structure being you want to have leadership that can look at the same problem and see the same mistakes however you want to have people that can look at those mistakes or not issue not, not mistakes but just issues in general find different solutions because they're able to attack mm -hmm. it from a different angle 
and then you can come together and you can find a proper solution. That's that's what I think is ideal. Every leadership structure that I've ever been a part of or anything that I've put together back over on the farm, it is the exact same way. I mean, even, even with what we have now, Peric and Ruby being chief and assistant chief find problems. They both see the problems and uh, just have different ways of approaching them. But they, they can come together and they can figure it out, which is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think I think we're going to have something good cooking. I, I really do. I mean, I don't, I don't know how, how quickly we can get the ball rolling on this. Well, it's going to be soon. Six days by the sounds of it. I mean, if, if the election starts on the... One way or another, if there's a commissioner, we won't need as much input from everybody else to open up a sheriff's office anyway. Just need the money. Wait, do we need money? Th that thing's, like, ready to go. Right? Is it, though? I mean, there's, like... Two, there's like it, two it cost you twenty thousand dollars to put fucking soundproofing in two cells. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Michael. I think your brother's a scammer. No, he's a he's a piece of shit when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta have a word with him.